Hey, what's up everybody? The Fish Tank Guy here, and today we're going to be doing a water change in a freshwater tank as opposed to a saltwater tank. Now, there are some differences of things that you'll do. There's not a whole lot different, but I just wanted to take you through the process in case you happen to have a freshwater tank and you want to do a water change. So, first off, we'll talk about frequency. Frequency really varies depending on your tank and how mature it is. So, for example, the last time I did a water change and kind of a, uh, a general maintenance cleanup type activity of this tank in particular was one, two, was about three or four months ago. And the tank still looks pretty good. Um, you know, a few times during that time period I would have gotten some algae off the glass. Um, but really, I haven't done a whole lot with it other than top it off. So, if it's an established tank, you can wait much longer between water changes. Now, if it's a newer tank, and you don't have a lot of uh, good bacteria built up, you'll want to do water changes more frequently. It really depends on how the fish look in the tank, if you're getting a lot of algae, um, if the water is clouding up, that type of thing. So, um, anyway, it's been, like I said, a few months, so what I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start with cleaning off the glass first, just like I did in the saltwater tank, using my MagFloat uh, glass cleaner. Now, in this tank in particular, there are a lot of smaller fish, there are a lot of guppies, so I need to be careful that I don't actually grab one of them in the mag float when I first attach it. But, as you can see, the tank is pretty clear, and I'll continue through with this process, but I'm going to skip ahead in the video um, because you guys get the general idea. Okay, now we've gone around, now that we've now that we've gone around all four sides of the tank, I'm going to take the mag float out. Alright. And the next step in the process is very similar to working with a saltwater tank. Uh, you simply have your gravel vac. Um, here I use the same one as I did before. And you stick it in the water. I've got the other end going into a bucket. Okay. And you start the siphon. This thing is sometimes it's sketchy. All right, and the siphon is started. And usually what I'll do is I'll kind of put a little crimp in the hose. I don't know if you can see this. I have a small crimp in the hose. And then I'll dig the gravel back into the stones and and unleash unleash the kink to uh, let the, the detritus and whatnot fly up to the top. You might be able to see that in the video. All the stuff flying up. Now, for me in particular, I've never found that a certain volume of water being changed out is is something that I have to do. I don't, I don't, I don't do a water change and think I need to remove X number of gallons. Um, the way I look at it is I pretty much go around the entire tank trying to siphon out the gravel and getting a bunch of the junk out of there. Because really, that's what will... Um, cause problems in a freshwater tank in the long run if you have a lot of waste buildup in the gravel. Now, since we have gravel and rather than sand, you can, you know, pretty much go all the way to the bottom of the tank with a gravel vacuum. You don't have to worry about sucking any of it up, which is nice. So, I don't know if you can hear, but the filter is, or the water from the filter is, is, uh, making a, a nice, peaceful, serene noise there because we're actually getting low on the water. So what I'll do now is I will unplug the filter before... Oh, hopefully I didn't bump that too much. Unplug the filter. Okay. Before everything gets too low. Okay. Let me see it. Let me adjust the camera slightly here. All right. And now I'll continue. Now the whole time... Water has been exiting out of the tank, and that's okay. But I'm going to go back to getting in that gravel and getting a lot of waste out of the gravel. Now, for a smaller tank like this, this is a 10 gallon tank. I don't really, again, I don't really worry too much about moving the decorations and things around. Actually, if you move the decorations around, you'll find that underneath them is, is waste jackpot. I don't know if you can see that, but because it's a smaller tank, it's easy for me to move things back to where they were. 
And getting underneath the decorations is a really good idea because a lot of waste can build up there over time. So again, I'm not going to show this entire process. Um, in the video, I'm going to fast forward in time until I'm finished with the whole gravel vacuuming and we will go from there on next steps. Okay, so as you can see, I've finished vacuuming out um, a lot of waste and I, all, I emptied the tank a little bit over halfway. Now it was down some um, because I hadn't topped it off recently, but I still took out about four gallons of water, um, which is a pretty substantial water change. But since I have not been, uh, since I haven't done a water change in the past few months, there's really no, you know, that's, that's fine because I wanted to get out as much of the waste as I could. So as you can see, I kind of just moved um, the things that I, I got out of place back to where I had them or where I like them to be. Now the other step in this process that you might want to consider doing is if you have a lot of algae on some of your um, decorations or your plants, you might want to take those out and clean them off as well before you put new water back in. So at this point all I do is I have a small, let's see, I have a small bucket here. It's like a little one gallon bucket. Um, it's dedicated to fish tank things and actually it's dedicated to freshwater tanks because I put tap water in here. Now some people choose to use um, you know distilled water or things like that. I've never needed to do that. I've never had any problem with just putting tap water directly in the tank. So essentially all I do is as I fill the tank here, all I do is I get water out of the tap and I try to make the temperature somewhat close to that of the tank doesn't have to be perfect, you just want to make sure that it's not really cold or really hot. Uh, freshwater, freshwater fish are pretty hardy for the most part um, and it shouldn't cause much trouble. So again, I'm going to fast forward in the video to, to further on in the process and I'll talk about what you want to do uh, towards the end of doing your water change and your maintenance. Okay, now as you can see, I've got the tank filled back up and everything is looking very nice. The water seems really clear. Um, there'll be a few floaties because it's messing with the filter a little bit. But um, So speaking of the filter, you might be wondering, do I change the filter? Um, you know, the book says change the filter every month. Um, you know, once your tank is established and set up, there's no need to change the filter that often. I change the filter roughly every six months and I've actually gone longer than that without changing it and have had zero problems. So in terms of the filter, it's really up to personal preference and how your tank looks and how your fish look. Um, but for me, if the tank is established, I really have had no need to add um, a new filter very frequently whatsoever. So since we added tap water to the tank, you can, if you want, add something like this. It is AquaSafe Plus Makes Tap water safe for fish works in seconds so you can put a cap full of this in the tank after you've added your new tap water if you'd like but me personally again once the tank is established I found no reason to do that and have had zero problems so if you are looking to learn how to do a water change and perform some maintenance on your freshwater tank I'm hoping that this video will be of some value to you and also you know of course if you have any questions or comments if you think I'm doing something wrong, if you think I'm an idiot, if you don't like my opinion, uh, you know, whatever you want to tell me, you can throw that down into the comments below. Uh, once again, this is the Fish Tank Guy, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and please check out the other videos on my channel, and consider subscribing. Alright, thanks!